Pmax with the 3.3 engine. First start. Let's go. And nothing. Welcome back to JC Motor Garage. So today um, we picked up the Traxxas 3.3 racing engine from Traxxas and this is so much more powerful than the 2.5 so we did the Traxxas trade up and we're getting ready to put this in the Traxxas T-Max. So if you haven't watched my other video, I'll post the link right up here. You can go up there, click on that. You can watch my previous video before watching this one of the teardown, what I did to it, the troubleshooting from Traxxas and figuring everything out and the engine being frozen, freed it up, starting, all that kind of stuff so you can look at it and uh, watch that before you watch this because you're part one, this is part two. But we're getting ready to install this. We're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna install it and then we're gonna do a first start. And we're gonna do a couple runs, try to run a tank through it so let's get to it so can't wait to see this thing run all right so here is the traxxas 3.3 racing engine so if you look on the back right here so it shows the 2.5 which is what his truck has the black line compared to the 3.3 60 percent more power peak so he said that he could do wheelies in this truck with the 2.5 so let's see what this thing can do and i gotta find the exhaust for it there is the big air filter so i got it all cleaned up and here's all the parts so there's the flywheel the clutch plate everything's there so let's uh let's unbox this and let's start putting it together so let's do it all right, so we're gonna get ready and do the unboxing of the 3.3 Traxxas engine. So right here is the model number 5407. So it's 219, but with the with the trade up with the 2.5, it was 110 plus tax, and they sent the other engine back for me. So it comes with a pole starter, but we're gonna be taking that one off, and then we'll be putting the easy start on with the three bolts on the back so we're going to be taking the pull start off of here hopefully we can reuse the um the little bearing nut that goes between the starter and the flywheel so hopefully we can do that um i'm trying to do this with one hand since i don't have any help i don't know what i don't know what uh cory's doing i asked him to help me but he's not uh, doing his own thing so He's gonna want to run this when he gets up and then get it started. He's gonna run out here. I bet you. Let's unbox this engine. Let's see what we get real quick. What help so, is there's the engine right there. I'm trying to do this with one hand because I don't know where Corey's at. And there's Bailey. Bailey's in every video, so he, he wanted to be out here. Alright, so there she is. Oh baby, she's huge, huge. Now we got the air, um, air filter oil here, and uh, looks like uh, it's a new muffler piece for the engine and the air filter and everything. So let's pull this engine out there. Let's see. What this looks like. I want to see. What and then it comes with uh, comes with stickers, so we can put the stickers on this truck. Cause right now it says two five and two five and two five. So either we'll put the three threes on there, or we'll leave it a sleeper. How about we just leave it a sleeper? We'll ask my brother, see what he wants to do. But we can uh, we can put these on there. So. I'll take a picture of these and send it to him and uh, we'll see what he says about that. So, and the instruction booklet right here, you got your warranty card and then you have your instruction booklet. So your instruction booklet will show you exactly how to break in the engine and everything. So right here, 
Oh, I flipped to the page. So, one tank one, quarter throttle, two seconds, 15 minutes, cool off, body off, and then apply throttle gradually, gradually. And then we have to do five tanks through this. So, we got a, we got a quart of 33% Traxxas um, oil, or engine nitro fuel to go through this. So we should be good, and we got an extra um, glow plug. So we'll be good on that. We'll do that when we start it up. So let's put this over here, and let's uh, let's pull this engine up in here. Let's this bag out. Let's pull this engine out. Let's see what it's gonna look like in here. Uh, there's Bailey G. There's Bailey. There's the Bailey right there. All right, and there we go. Look at that head on that thing. That thing's huge. About the size, same size as Corey's. Let's see what's gonna look like in here. Oh, that's gonna look nice. Oh my goodness, that's gonna look nice. All right, so the first thing we have to do is we have to take off that bolt, that bolt, that bolt, so we can take the pull start off. Then we're gonna have to install the flywheel and um, the clutch bearing, the nut, and all that stuff before we even bolt this up. So let's go and uh, I'll go ahead and put that on real quick. I'll try to do it with one hand here and uh, try to show you. So I'll be right back. All right, well, it's the next day and I had to go and get this right here. It's called a cone split beveled, um, like a crush bearing almost. Um, it goes on, it goes on there, right there. All right. I'm trying to do this with two hands, but it goes right there. And then you put your flywheel on top of it, which holds it. And then you can put your bearing and everything on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that together. And then uh, we'll install it in the truck. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got that on there. So I got the slipper clutch on there and I got the bell housing on there and I got the little uh, C-clamp on there. So that's all good. It's all turning, turns the piston. So that's good. So now we need to put on the um, put on the right here. Put on the easy start on the back of this motor, and then we'll bolt it up and put it on here. So I'm gonna bolt it up to the um, bolt it up to here. So I'm gonna bolt it up to the motor mount here, and that. I'm gonna leave this one out, the one with the little washer, because this little yellow one right here, this little yellow one right here goes on that one. So if you put all of them on besides this one right here, then you put that one on last, and that should tighten that down to here, and then you can tighten the motor to there. So I'm gonna do that now, and then uh, I'll be right back when I get done. <laughs> We got a little bit of fuel just to start it up and run it and got the glow plug in there we got the easy start all set up got the muffler set up got everything good carburetor set up everything's good on it got power yep got power so we're gonna get ready and start this up and see if it runs so moment of truth Corey's going to get the remote and the easy start, and uh, we'll be right back. Hope for the best. Traxxas T-Max with a 3.3 engine, first start. Let's go. And nothing. Nothing. I want to start. All right, so back on the Traxxas. So we did an unboxing, we put the engine in there and I've been having some problems with it. So um, we replaced the flywheel, the clutch plate, clutch disc and the bell housing and it was still doing the same problem where we put the thing in there and it did it for a little while and then it would stop and it would just be stuck. 
this is the brand new Traxxas 3.3 engine straight out of the box in this. So, if you have problems with your Traxxas 3.3 nitro engine on sticking this starter in there and it goes boom, 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 and then it stops, use a heat gun. Heat it up, or a blow dryer. Heat up the head enough. I'm loosening the glow plug just a little bit. Just get some pressure out of there. And guess what? This thing started right up. So I'm gonna show you that we got it started. And uh, I need to replace the spur gear right here out the transmission. Do you see? That thing's hot. Yeah, that's how that's how much better this engine is. So this is the stock for the 2.5. So we're gonna go tomorrow and get a new spur gear for that. And then we will be racing it. So we'll do some videos on racing it. So I want to show you real quick on it starting up. So let's do it. Here we go. All right. So what they told me to use was just a regular glow plug. Because if you use this, it's not going to have enough to heat up the engine. So this was like 12 bucks at a Hobby Town or your hobby store. It's just a plane, doesn't have a dial on here, doesn't tell you if the glow plug is good or bad or whatever. So we got fuel, we got fuel. So I'm gonna show you that this thing start right up. Let's do it. You ready? Count down, let's go. The P-Max running, and we got the 3-3 three, three engine in it. It's running good. Just it in. Just doing a little bit of quarter throttle. Then you stop. Quarter throttle. Then you stop. Come back here and let's uh, check the temperature real quick. See what it's at. We got a little temperature thing. Easy. This thing's weird. So we got the Traxxas uh, T-Max running with the 3.3. So um, we've been having this problem for a little while now. And I hadn't had this problem with any of my nitro cars that I've had. Well, my son's got the Jado. Um, I had the Ofta. I've had some Traxxas Rustlers. And I've never had this problem with this engine. And I don't know what was wrong with it. I thought there was something wrong with it. So I called the hobby store. And he said to take a heat gun. Heat it up a little bit. Get a glow plug igniter and not use the easy start igniter for the glow plug. So I did that and I unloosened the, the glow plug just a little bit to let a little compression out and it started up. And now it's running good. We just ran a tank through it. So next video, we'll be doing some more break-in. Probably doing some races with the Jado and the Traxxas T-Max and doing some off-road bashing maybe. I don't know yet, but if you like this video, Please give us a big thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at JC Motor Garage. And I just want to give a big shout out to my brother Matthew for loaning us the truck so we can fix it and we can get it running good for him. So thank you. And we'll see you next time on JC Motor Garage. Thanks for watching.